In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a four level date drill down. We're going to start with sales by year, click on a year, and it drills down to the sales for each quarter within that year. Click on a quarter, and now it shows us the sales by month within that quarter. Click on a month, and we can see the sales by day within that year, quarter, and month. Here's how you do it. Connect to the Sample Superstore dataset. First thing we're going to do is build our four charts. Right click on order date and drag it to the columns and choose continuous years and click on OK. Drag sales to the rows. Rename the sheet sales by year. Right click on that sheet and choose duplicate. On the columns, click the plus next to year. This now gives us sales by quarter. Rename the sheet sales by quarter. Right click on the sales by quarter sheet and choose duplicate. Click on the plus next to quarter on the column shelf to give us sales by month. Rename the sheet sales by month. One more time, duplicate the sales by month sheet. Click the plus next to month that gets us to the weekly level. Click the plus one more time to get to the daily level. Rename this sheet sales by day. Now let's create a parameter that's going to allow us to control which chart to show. In the data pane on the left hand side, choose the triangle and then create parameter. Rename it your date level parameter. Change the data type to a string and set the current value to year. Click on OK. Now for each of these sheets, we're going to need a text field to pass to that parameter when we set up our actions. Stay on the sales by day sheet. Create a new calculated field and call this year text. All we're going to have is the string year. Click on OK and drag that to the detail shelf of the sales by day sheet. Now the reason we're putting it on this sales by day sheet is because when we click on a day, we want to pass the word year to the parameter so the Tableau knows to show the sales by year chart. Right click on year text and uncheck include in tooltip. Go to the sales by month sheet. Create a new calculated field. Call this one day text. All we're going to have is the string day. Click on OK. Drag that to the detail shelf of the sales by month sheet. Right click and uncheck include in tooltip. Go to sales by quarter. Create a new calculated field. Call this one month text. Again, all it's going to have is a string with the word month. Click on OK, drag it to the detail shelf, right click on it, and uncheck include in tooltip. Lastly, go to the sales by year sheet. Create a new calculated field. Call this one quarter text. All it's going to have is the word quarter as a string. Click on OK, drag it to the detail shelf of the sales by year sheet, right click on it, and uncheck include in tooltip. Now the reason I uncheck include in tooltip is because I don't want it to show up in the tooltip. Now with dynamic zone visibility, we need to have some kind of Boolean calculation to turn it on and off. So we're going to create four calculations. Create a new calculated field. Call this one show year. Our calculation is date level parameter equals the string year. So in other words, if the word year is in the parameter, then we're going to want to show the sales by year sheet. Click on OK. Create another calculated field, call this one show quarter. The calculation is date level parameter equals the string quarter. Click on OK. Create a calculated field, call this one show month. Our calculation is date level parameter equals the string month. Now these are case sensitive, so make sure that you type them in exactly the way that you're going to use them in the parameter. Click on OK. One more calculation to create. Create a new calculated field. Call this one show day. Our calculation is date level parameter equals day. Click on OK. Now we're ready to build our dashboard. We've got all the calculations we need in order to make our dynamic zone visibility work. Create a new dashboard. Drag in a vertical container and we're going to drag each of our sheets in one by one. Drag in sales by year into the container sales by quarter into the container, sales by month, and then sales by day. 
You just have to make sure that they're all inside the same container. Choose the sales by day sheet. Go to the layout tab on the left hand side. Check control visibility using and we're going to choose show day. Now it disappeared because our parameter currently has the value year. Choose sales by month. Check control visibility using and then show month. Choose sales by quarter. Control visibility using show quarter. And lastly, choose sales by year, control visibility using, and show year. And that one stays there because our parameter has the value year. Next up, we need to create four parameter actions in order to drill through the dates. Choose dashboard from the menu and actions. Click on add action and change parameter. Call this one show year. In our source sheets, we're gonna choose sales by day, our target parameter, is date level, and we want to pass the source field year text. Click on OK. Click on Add Action, Change Parameter. Call this one Show Quarter. This one's going to be driven by the Sales by Year sheet. We're going to update that same date level parameter, and our source field is our quarter text. Click on OK. Add another action, Change Parameter. Call this one Show Month. This one is controlled by the sales by quarter. We're going to update the same target parameter and the source field is our month text. Click on OK. And one more to go. Click on Add Action, Change Parameter. Call this one Show Day. This one's going to be driven by only the sales by month sheet. The target parameter is date level parameter and the source field is day. Click on OK and then click on OK again. And now let's test out our dynamic zone visibility. Click on a year, and it drills down by quarter. Click on a quarter, it drills down by month. Click on a month, and it drills down by day. Click on a day, and it goes back to the year level. Perfect, this is working exactly the way we want. However, it's not filtering based on the year, quarter, or month that we select. So let's work on that next. And we need to create three more actions. These are gonna be used for the filtering. Choose Dashboard from the menu and Actions. Click on Add Action, Change Parameter. Call this one Date Filter Year. This is going to be driven by the Year Sheet. The target parameter is our Date Parameter and our Source Field is Year. Click on OK. Add another action, Change Parameter. Call this one Date Filter Quarter. This one is only going to be driven by the sales by quarter sheet. The target parameter is our date parameter and the source field is our quarter. Click on OK. One more. Add action, change parameter. Call this one date filter month. This is driven by the sales by month sheet. The target parameter is date parameter and the source field is month. Click on OK and click on OK again. Now we need to create one calculation that controls the filtering for all of our sheets. Go to the sales by quarter sheet. Create a new calculated field. Call this one our date filter. We need to check each of our drill down conditions. Start with if, show quarter, then, and we're going to insert another if statement. So if the date trunk at the year level of order date is equal to the date trunk at the year level of our date parameter, then I'm going to just pass the, the string t. You can put anything you want in here. End. And now let's go to our second condition. Else if show month, then I'm going to copy and paste my nested if statement. All I need to change here is year to quarter. Else if show day, then, and again, paste in that nested if statement and change year to month on both the left and right hand sides. And then close off the outside if statement. So let me quickly walk you through what this is doing. So if we're at the quarterly level, then we want to go ahead and filter to the yearly level. If we're at the monthly level, we want to filter to the quarterly level. 
If we're at the daily level, we want to filter to the monthly level. Click on OK. Go back to your dashboard. Click on a year. Go back over to sales by quarter. Drag date filter to the filters and choose T. Click on OK. Right click on the date filter. Choose apply to worksheets, selected worksheets, and we want to apply that to the sales by quarter, sales by month, and sales by day. Click on OK. Go over to our dashboard. Now when we click on a quarter, it drills down to the months for that quarter. Click on a month, and it drills down to the days for that month. Click on a day, and it goes back to the yearly level. Let's give it one more test. I'm going to click on 2023. Now I see the four quarters for 2023. I'll click on Q1. Now I see January, February, and March of 2023. Let's click on January. And now I see the sales by day for January 2023. You can clean up the formatting, maybe get rid of the access titles, however you want it to look. But that's all it takes to drill down four levels from year to quarter to month to day. And you can use this for any four levels you want to create. Just follow those same steps and it'll work perfectly. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Also, tell me the part you like the best. And while you're there, go ahead and like this video so other people will see it as well. Thanks for watching.